Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make a very simple poncho for beginners. The free written pattern is available in size S up to 5XL and I will put the link in the description below. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button. This way you will receive notifications when I upload new free patterns. For this poncho I've used Lion Brand jeans colors and crochet hook size 6mm. Make a slip knot and leave a long tail for weaving. Then chain 77. In round 1, we will start with a double crochet in the 6th chain from the hook. Then, chain 1, skip 1 chain and work a double crochet stitch in the next chain. Do this for a total of 8 times. Then chain 1, skip the next chain and work a double crochet, chain 2, one double crochet in the next chain. This is what we call the corner. Repeat this 3 more times. So we chain 1, skip 1 and work a double crochet for a total of 8 times. And then work a corner by making a double crochet, chain 2, 1 double crochet. At the end we will replace the last corner with a slip stitch in the third chain. and a slip stitch into the first corner. Then use your long tail end to close the bottom of the stitches. In round 2 we will chain 5 which counts as your first double crochet and 2 chains and we work 2 double crochet stitches into the corner. Then work 1 double crochet in each double crochet and 1 double crochet in each chain 1 space. Repeat this to the corner. Then work 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet in the corner. Repeat this till the end of the round. At the end of round 2, we will replace the last corner with a double crochet into the corner before the beginning chain 5.
make a slip stitch in a third chain and a slip stitch into the corner. In round 3 we will chain 5 and work 2 double crochet stitches into the corner. Work 1 double crochet stitch in each stitch across. Then work 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet into the corner. Repeat this till the end of the round. Replace the last corner with a double crochet into the corner before the beginning chain 5, slip stitch in the third chain, and slip stitch into the corner. In round 4 we will chain 5 and work 1 double crochet and a chain into the corner. Then we repeat the following till the next corner. 1 double crochet in the next stitch, chain 1 and skip the next stitch. Repeat this to the next corner. End with a double crochet in the last stitch before the corner and then work the following stitches into the corner. Chain 1, 1 double crochet, chain 2, 1 double crochet, chain 1. Repeat this till the end of round 4. Replace the last corner with one chain, a slip stitch in the third chain, and a slip stitch into the corner. Round 5 is the exact same as round 4, so we chain 5, and then we work one double crochet and a chain into the corner. Then we repeat the following till the next corner. 1 double crochet in the next stitch, chain 1 and skip the next stitch. End with a double crochet in the last stitch before the corner and work the following stitches into the corner. Chain 1, 1 double crochet chain 2, 1 double crochet, chain 1. Repeat this till the end of round 5. Replace the last corner with a chain 1, a slip stitch in the third chain, and a slip stitch into the corner. All you need to do now is repeat round 2, 3, 4 and 5 for as many times as you want. I will quickly show you a stitch count overview of the amount of stitches you should have on each side for your size. For the tassels you will need to chain 120 or until it measures 30 inches. Then 
Then weave your chains through the first row of chain spaces. Make two tassels and attach those to both ends. I will quickly show you how I made my tassels. I used a clover tassel maker, but you can also use a phone or a book. And that's it! I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which yarn and colors you are going to use. Hope to see you next time! Bye!